I wish the Democrats would think a little more carefully when they talk about MAGA. But when people say MAGA, they're actually looking at people voting for Trump and they think they're voting and they're basically scapegoating them, that you are like him. Uh, and but I don't think they're voting for Trump because of his family values. And if you look, just take a step back, be honest. He was kind of right about NATO, kind of right about immigration. Mm -hmm. He grew the economy quite well. China, China ta virus. Tax reform worked. Mm -hmm. He was right about some of China. But he wasn't wrong about some of these critical issues. And that's why they're voting for him. Yes, Trump won the Iowa caucus. We all knew it. We all know that man got to win and come back and fix all these problems. Historic event in Iowa. It is freezing out there and people still showed up and voted because they needed to get the word out. The man won every 99% of the counties. That's crazy. But let's celebrate. Trump won the Iowa caucus. Now on to New Hampshire. No debate, no nothing. Just going to court and fighting his cases. Number one way of debating. Genius level debating. Vivek Ramaswamy endorsing Donald Trump. The best thing he could do. Because, hey, he knows that he's not going to be able to win this time around. The man is young. He's still got the future ahead of him. He could campaign later on. I can see him in the future being the president of the United States. But what do you think? Write down your thoughts below. Trump 2024. They just had a, a, a Trump rally in the South Bronx. The South Bronx. Yeah, you told the me that. South Bronx. And that's all Latins and blacks there. Latins and blacks got tired of the Democrats scheming us and lying to us. And the Republicans said, we told you so. Welcome to my channel. My name is Noel, Battling MS. Trying to do my thoughts and putting in my contribution while I still can before I'm completely disabled. Go ahead and support the channel by subscribing below. I actually wish Vivek would have stuck around to the end and actually won the Republican nomination. But it's just not his time. At this particular time, we got to all get behind Trump and support him because of what they're doing to him. He's not even campaigning. They're just trying to get him locked up for 100 years. What do you think? Do you think Vivek should have won or should at least run for VP? We're going to take a look at a clip of Vivek endorsing Donald Trump and giving his final speech. Let's take a look. I do worry. I do worry about 10 more months with these people because they can do a lot of damage. What they're doing to our country is very sad. We were the first candidate ever to get more than 52% of the vote. We now uh, have our eyes on a very special place. You know what that place is? New Hampshire. Dominated Iowa. And I know that New Hampshire will never let us down, just like in 2016. You remember that? We came in here and we won in a landslide. 2016. It's time for the Republican Party, however, to unify, come together, and move forward as one team. We have to beat crooked Joe Biden. We have to beat him. Our country is at stake, and we need to focus on all of our resources. We have to put them into energy and effort and defeating Biden and all of these radical left lunatics, what they're doing to our country. We can't let it happen. We cannot let it continue. We're going down, and we cannot let it continue. Last night, I was honored to receive the endorsement of a man who has become a true leader and earned the admiration of so many patriots. I, I've been a friend of his, even though we were competing against each other. But I was a friend of his, and we got along. And he was saying he's a great president. I kept saying, why is he running? He keeps calling me a great president. But he's a fantastic guy, a very smart guy. He's got some tremendous ideas. And uh, Genius. he's got some young ideas, too, and that's a good thing. So he has a big, beautiful, bright future ahead, Vivek Ramishwamy. Come on up, Vivek. He's the president. Perfect team. Let's do this, guys. Great it's good, to it's good to be back to New Hampshire. We miss you guys. We're going to make this happen, and you guys know this well. You know this man. You know why we're here, patriots across the state. We are in the middle of a war in this country. That's what this is. It's not a war between black and white. It's not between Democrat and Republican, even in a deeper sense. It's between the permanent state and the everyday citizen. Between those of us who love the United States of America and a fringe minority who hates this country and what we stand for. And right now we need a commander in chief who will lead us to victory in this war. That's what we need in this country. 
You got to know you're in a war to win one. You can't win one if you're asleep at the switch, have your head stuck in the sand like most Republicans. And I think that's going to require somebody who isn't bought and paid for, a businessman, not a politician. Anybody heard of that? Yep. And that's why I was in this race. But I'll tell you, the people of Iowa spoke loud and clear last night. And I'm a big believer that we, the people, create a government that is accountable to us, not the other way around. That we, the people, choose who leads this country. And so we heard... We the people last night, and that is why last evening I met my friend here. We met in person, and I told him that I would endorse Donald J. Trump for president of the United States and do everything in my power to lead us to victory in this war. It is a 1776 moment right now. That's where we live right now. And you want to know what does it mean to be a Republican today? It means we believe in the ideals of 1776. Ideals like freedom and merit and the pursuit of excellence. Yep. That you get ahead in this country, not on the color of your skin, but on the content of your character and your contributions. End affirmative action. End at DEI. We are done with the nonsense. Send it back home. It means you believe in the rule of law. And I say this as the kid of legal immigrants to this country. That means your first act of entering this country cannot break the law, and that is why we need to use our military to secure our own southern border in this country. That's what it means to stand for the rule of law in the United States of America. It means the people we elect to run the government needs to be the ones who actually run the government, not the shadow government in the deep state that runs the show today. Yep. This man is going to get in there this time around and actually shut down that deep state, not messing around this time anymore. That's how we win this war in this country. And the way we're actually going to do this in the long run and win this this time around is with elections we need to secure in this country for the long run. You want to know what needs to happen in this country? Single day voting on election day as a national holiday with paper ballots, government issued ID to match the voter file, and English as the sole language that appears on a ballot. And I'm confident this man will be the one to get us there. And this is how we get our country back. Not black or white. It's deeper than that. These are the ideals of the American Revolution. And you know what? We do have some enemies that we need to defeat on the other side, but we have challenges to address in our own party right here at home. So you know what? If you want somebody who's going to foist onto you to use your social media account, you want to use a driver's license to do it, have the right to use the internet, this man's not your man. There's another candidate in this race who'll do that for you. It's Nikki Haley. Boom. You want to send, you want to cut Social Security, you want to cut Medicare, you want to cut veterans benefits so we can fork over more money to Ukraine so some kleptocrat can buy a bigger house? Vote for Nikki Haley, not this man right here. But if you want to actually put an agenda that puts Americans first, to say that the moral obligation of your leaders is to the citizens of this country, not another one, there's not a better choice left in this race than this man right here. And that is why I am asking you to do the right thing as New Hampshire and to vote for Donald J. Trump as your next president because we're not working with a lot of time here. Yep. If our kids are in high school before we get this right, we don't have a country left. That's what it means. We've been celebrating our diversity and our differences for so long that we forgot all of the ways that we are the same as Americans, bound by that common set of ideals that set this country into motion. We believe those ideals still exist. This man is going to be your next president to revive them. E pluribus unum. From many, one. Oh. And you know how we're doing it? We're doing it by speaking the truth at every step of the way. There are two genders in this country. Period. That is the truth. Yep. Fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear energy. Reverse racism is racism. An open border is not a border. Parents determine the education of their children. The nuclear family is the greatest form of governance known to mankind. Capitalism lifts us up from poverty. There are three branches of government in the United States, not four. And the U.S. Constitution is the strongest and greatest guarantor of freedom in human history. That is the truth. We fight for the truth. We stand up for the truth. That is what won us the American Revolution. That is what reunited us after the Civil War. That is what won us two world wars and the Cold War. That is what still gives hope to the free world. And if we can revive that dream over group identity and victimhood and grievance, then nobody in the world, not a nation, not a corporation, not a virus, not China, is going to defeat us. That is what American exceptionalism is all about. That is what we are going to revive to, yes, make America great again. Vote for this man right here in the New Hampshire primary. God bless you and your families, and may God bless our United States of America. Thank you, New Hampshire.
Good to see you guys. We're coming back and winning this in a landslide. We will not stop until we get this job done. Thank you all. God bless you and your families. I wonder what he said. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's how was that? Pretty good, right? That was pretty good. And he's a fantastic guy. And he's really, uh, he's got something that's uh, very special because he started off with the Zippo and he's got, he ended up very strong. He did a great job. I was actually surprised when he called because he was doing well. That was a great speech. And I wanted to play the whole thing because when v Vivek speaks, he drops truth bombs. You heard at the end there, a lot of people were saying VP, VP, that he should be the VP, which I think he would be a great VP, but Trump plays to win. So I don't think he's going to choose him as a VP candidate because he needs a woman. He needs a woman VP to win over the votes of all those 304s that just vote for a women candidate so because of that i think he's not going to choose vivek as a vice president but what do you think write down in the comment section do you think he's going to pick vivek i think it will be great to run the country but hey it's one thing to think a certain way and then there's the reality and trump is a winner he plays to win let's see who he announces verbal or life verbal on life so please help support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and let's continue growing all right see you guys in the next video people were mad that you said you were supporting trump at one time yeah are you still supporting trump and what's the reason so no comment on that voting for trump 2024 <laughs> <laughs> no comment on that it's look like he having a hard time in that case right mm -hmm. now you know what i'm saying but no comment on that what i did learn from that situation people in our position ain't supposed to speak uh on their uh political candidates that's what i learned and i also learned everybody voting for trump you know what i'm saying 